Alright, welcome back. Let's try a different level. Maybe we'll get a little bit lucky. I, I still feel Jewel Man. Jewel Man. <clears throat> Which one is Jewel Man again? I think he's one that has the rolling thing face. The is the mini one? boss. Oh, the flower? No, it's, uh, Florida Man. The, the face. The rock face. Oh! I thought that was Concrete Man. No, we never even made it to anywhere in Concrete Man. Well, we Concrete died. Man, we just died horribly. This is the one that's, like, reminiscent of Woodman Stage. Uh, with the, like, owls dropping rocks and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Alright, let's see how bad this is. <laughs> right in the face. Yep, yep. Oh. Mm. So how do you feel they did justice to him in Super Smash Brothers? I think he did well. I think he's a good character. Um, I think... I don't know. It would have been impossible to do, but I think a cool thing would have been, like, you're able to download different, like, Master Bots or his attacks. So, so like instead of Metal Blade, you know, I could choose Shadow Man. Same, same, same attack. Well, you can do that. That's his. If you get his, you can change out his moves. Like everyone else can. Really? I just, yeah, I just couldn't ever fucking get them for some reason. I haven't locked everyone else's moves, but I never unlocked so any of his. I didn't know that was thing out here. This is where I keep dying. Oh, you're right. This is the Rock Man. The other Rock Face. Yep. yep. <laughs> There's the thing. But uh, yeah, like uh, Skull Man, <laughs> you can replace uh, the Leave attack. For some reason. Oh yeah, because this was always the shield, though. Oh, so oh, that's right, it was the shield too. But yeah, so you can replace that. Uh, so you can replace his moves with different. Uh... So I didn't know that. All right, that, all right, never mind. Takes away my complaint. <laughs> but again, I don't actually own the game. So. Yeah. Or a system. Honestly, if it wasn't for that game or Hyrule Warriors, I wouldn't have a Wii U either. I see, but here's the thing: I'd like to get a Wii U, even if not just for game, like. Yeah. You know, again, I'm not a Nintendo fan. I'm, you know, I think popular vote. I, I think Zelda's overrated in all honesty. I like Zelda, but that's like the only really big hardcore game. Um, Star Fox, I like a lot too. I the new Star Fox, I'm kind of excited for. Oh, I'm super excited for it. But um, oh, fuck. Nintendo is just its background music to me is I think the coolest part for it. What's disappointing me about uh, do the black hole? Um, good fuck. Fight him. Don't hardcore. Oh, nah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you're just kicking your ass for it. <laughs> uh, honestly, um, I feel Nintendo is the worst com- uh, Between the three big companies, I think it's the worst one. The only reason they're still alive is because they have big nostalgia factors. Yeah, they have the fanboys. Fanboys and fangirls. If it wasn't for that, they would be dead by now. They're terrible business ethics. Oh, fuck. They have terrible business ethics. <clears throat> when they're like, we'll never do DLC, DLC's overrated. Then they did DLC. It's like, well, we're only going to do good DLC and at fair prices. Then they released a character for $25 on Super Smash Bros. So oh, yeah, the meat or the... The costumes Mew. and, like, the Ryu. And it was, like, 25 bucks for, like, a few things. I'm like, no, this is... You, you guys don't know what you're doing anymore. You're not the... You're not for the people like you guys say you always are. And I love it because the fanboys constantly, like, defend them. They're like, oh, they're the greatest company because they have Zelda or they have Mario. And full disclosure, I think Mario is a terrible game. I never liked a single Mario game. Um, never liked one. 64 wasn't bad. Mario Sunshine always seemed fun. I didn't like. I didn't see the, the joy of cleaning. I mean, it I, was it was an interesting concept. All right, there we are. Good. My death didn't mean that much now. Uh, so he's it hence on you. Damn it. But um, I don't. I just didn't like a lot of the Mario games. And I mean I can understand that. I just think they're boring. And I also don't like Not much has changed for them, really. Not much at all. And like see that's the bob that's another problematic thing they have with the But kind of like the Call of Duty company. When they change, people don't like it. But when they don't change, people are like, why aren't you trying anything new? People are never happy with Nintendo. Jesus I'm Christ. glad we hit we uh <clears throat> it's just such an awkward jump. But no one is ever happy with Nintendo. And not even being 
a favored party of them. I've noticed that they're kind of in like a shit position. <clears throat> and it is a running joke I've seen online where no one likes Nintendo, uh, a new Zelda game until the next Zelda comes out. Then that last Zelda game was a masterpiece. I just never, like, I don't know, I think my problem was I went back, like, um, like, I have the Master Quest for the GameCube. Uh-huh. Which, you know, it comes with 64 again. Yeah. Doors Masks, uh, the original two for Nintendo. Did you call Ocarina of Time 64? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> okay. Um, I, uh, replaying Ocarina of Time, I love that game, but replaying it, I was like, oh, this is so trash. I don't know, when I played I, it... I did not, I did not think it age well. It was definitely just not... I didn't, and this, it's not going off, like, just graphics or anything like that, but just gameplay itself, I'm like, this is so... Right. I don't know. When I played it for the 3DS, I still enjoyed it uh, immensely. I thought it was still a fine game. I'm not going to say it's the best game ever. I will never admit any game is the best game ever. I did play it all, but I really was digging Twilight Princess. Um, honestly, couldn't hold my attention. I did not like the wolf one. It got me annoyed. I can see that. Um, also another thing I'm tired of most Zelda games. I hate, uh, gimmicks. This gimmick is the the wolf form. This gimmick is the ocarina. I just never liked all the gimmicks in the games. They always have one gimmick, and I usually hate them. I tried peep ball on him, because that rolls too. Try what? Plug ball. Oh, okay. Because uh, that just goes all around the screen. Try shooting it now, see if it hurts him while he's up there. Nope. Nice, that actually is pretty good. Probably because I can keep doing it while I'm jumping. Well, well that's a good idea for him. Shit. Now, going back to like, you know, 64 not aging well and stuff like that. Do you, <clears throat> graphically, what do you think makes a game? Is it the graphics or is it the story? Story. Every, every time story. I will be impressed with graphics, but if the game does not, if the story does not impress me or hold me. No, I take that back. Story and gameplay. Okay. Gameplay has to be part of it, because it's like Mega Man. It looks nice, but graphically not the most impressive thing ever. No. But it has a solid gameplay. And you don't, I don't need like enhanced, confusing, complicated gameplays. Like, honestly, I like Batman, but sometimes I feel the controls are a little bit too much for its time. Yeah, especially with this new one. With Arkham, uh, with Arkham Knight? Yeah, sometimes it gets a little too much. Especially with the tank. But, in, like, this game. Very simple style of gameplay. It's very easy to pick up and understand what you have to do. Obviously, there's confusing traps, but that's half the fun of it. It's not so much Batman where you need a new power to do something new. Yeah. It's you just need to figure out how to do it on your own. Which well, I, for this? I, for this. Uh, I'm going to disagree with that because the whole thing is about getting powers. The but you robots. can do it. It, it. it makes it easier. But if you're good enough, you don't need the powers is what I'm saying. Uh, certain, ones, certain parts you do. I mean, we don't know we got wise castles. Again, because 2 and 3, you had things where in... Three. There's a two. Two. You needed uh, one of the bosses is you could only defeat him with crash bands, and the trick with it was you had to know how to do it exactly because right. you didn't have there was not enough shots to clear everything in the stage. But that's a level after you have all the gadgets. Son of a mo god. Whereas Batman, it's like I can't progress through this thing. Let me do a side mission to get that new item. See, that doesn't bother me, because that feels that feels comic. That's Batman. That is Batman. That's Batman to a T. Uh, Batman is not good the first attempt. He's better once he has time to prep. I agree with that. prep time. But I'm saying it's for a game standard. You already... I, I That's like one thing I never liked about... I couldn't get over in Zelda games. Oh, he needs to solve this dungeon. Luckily, that one item to help him pass is found in the exact same dungeon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, that doesn't well, make that's, sense. that's the same thing of kind of like, you get to the main boss's dungeon castle, and he's like, you know, you're like, why, why would you leave these items of power just lying around? It's, 
I, I never liked those. I never liked when game companies did that. I think it's lazy, and I think it's a cheap shot to gamers. I like the ability, because again, besides like the bosses that you can unhind, fucking up, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I want to point out this is not me playing right now. Yeah, this is totally me. Well, since the I am fucking up part. Give me that. I don't want screws. Um, I like games where you don't need anything special. You can do it on your own. I mean, obviously the special things help you, but you don't need them. Yeah. And obviously Mega Man does that on the ending bosses. You have to have, like, uh, Mega Man 2, the alien for uh, Dr. Wily. Yep. That you can only use in the, as Bubble Man. Yep. You can only hurt him as Bubble Man. But that's more of a challenge. It's it's an item you already have, so it's not like something you have to go find. God damn it! You have to go find, but it's something you already have, and even worse, it's the <clears> worst <throat> weapon in the entire game. It is. There's even like just regular characters that will deflect the attack completely. Yeah. The way it moves, the way it it fires, it's a terrible attack. We'll let double. If you could make a Mega Man Master, what would you make it? Like a Master Robot? Yeah. It's kind of hard. Like, it feels like everything's been everything made. Everything has been made. Um. I think I would do one. I, I, and again, it more likely could have been done. I would do a Master Robot where he kind of warps reality, where it just reverses your controls. I like that. Fucked up, but I like that. Kind of like, like how they oh, had Flashman for a short time. He's You're Time crazy. Man, yeah. kind of. He, he's more Time Man. Is but I don't know how man? that would. What is there a Clock Man? There's not a Clock Man. There's a Flash Man. Um, and then there's Bright Man. Yeah. Um. Those are the only two that I knew had, that I remember having time stopping powers. Comic book man. <laughs> He sits there and just kind of. All right. Here yeah. We go. Well, let's get past this part. This, this be is where I would always die. This is Fontaine's never made it past this point. Ah, savage. Try them. Drop. Yeah, that actually is a very good power for this. And it uses like nothing. I mean, it's good enough, but yeah, we gotta make sure we fill on it. I'm just saying, like, comparative like to other powers in other games, it doesn't use much at all. Yeah, a couple games left. Oh, oh thank oh. God! Get it! Stop jumping like an idiot! I hope I got that. I didn't hear. You did. You did. I didn't hear if it dinged. Oh, yeah. P ball. I'm fully filled up. There we go. So at least I can start somewhere. I hope that is a hint to what his weakness is. Oh! Yeah, well, you just didn't die like I did there. Watch, yeah, they're all gonna do it too. That one doesn't have one for some reason. I don't like that one did there. Okay, this is where I think we always get dying to. Yeah. Oh, I did not commit! Why did you I did hesitate? I don't know. Oh my god. That was disappointing. Alright, all right, you did get it. We yeah. made it past the uh, thing face. I think I do love that nickname for him. Ah, oh, God, I can jump. One of you will drop the help. Uh, play. Nope. Screw. No. All right, screw us. <laughs> Go. On. Sweet from both the girls. Strike. Go. Yep. Uh, just that shoulder pop. Just, just yeah, swung yeah. gracefully into that. <laughs> just take me. I commit right. to you. I feel good about this stage. I, I think this is gonna be us. I feel it's more, more Shadow Man than us. What? What? Uh, 
Oh, that's also another thing I noticed. Whenever you need life, and they never give it to you. But whenever you're full health, it's like here's this big oh, yeah. orb. If you're after this life, we should go to the shop. All right. Like after this uh, continuation attack. Maybe we'll do that on the next episode. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll actually beat. Was this Joel Man? Yes, sir. Uh, maybe we'll get to see his pretty reflection. Later, guys. Ah. <laughs>